Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Lance and today we're taking another look at some cut content from Bloodborne. Now for today's video, I want to start by showing you a little footage from the alpha version of the game. In this version of the game there were no lanterns, but actually chairs. You couldn't interact with them at all, but they left a hint as to what was originally planned for one particular aspect of the game, before being replaced with lanterns. So based on this, as you can probably guess, in an earlier draft of the game's design, the lanterns were actually a type of chair your character would sit in and teleport to different areas. In the final game, in fact, the lantern spawn locations are still actually called Warp Chair IDs. There isn't a huge amount of content left behind relating to these warp chairs, but there are just a few for a select number of areas, and there are two animations still related to using them. One of them, as you can see, shows the character teleporting away to a new location. The other is just one that shows the character sitting idle in the chair. I didn't demonstrate this one because it causes you to get stuck and you can't quit the game. So I just wanted to show you a few that are left still remaining in the game, before we segue into an even older version of the Lanterns. Now you may remember this footage from the earliest Project Beast trailer, which shows what many have assumed may have also been an early draft of the Lanterns, and that is actually correct. Here you can see that statue that appears in that same footage, and its ID number is analogous to the lanterns. A very similar statue also appears in the Hunter's Dream, but this one is rigged to support the messenger effect and this pleasant glow. Unfortunately, the animation you saw for stabbing the glowing sword in no longer seems to exist, at least not that I've found yet. Now something I wanted to end on is this other strange object. It's also analogous to the lanterns, and it's loaded into RAM when you visit the Hunter's Dream, but is never actually used there or anywhere. It's just a corpse of a man who seems to be partially transformed into a beast, holding a skull that's missing some kind of effect. I'd say that this did at some point serve as some interactive function based on the data I found for it, but nothing concrete exists anymore. It also has some back face culling you can see from behind, so obviously this originally would have been meant to be placed up against the wall. So thank you for watching and sitting through an entire video focused on some of the more boring cut content. I'm sorry it can't always be cut enemies and bosses, but I am really quite dedicated to just showing you absolutely everything I find and not keep things to myself just because I'm worried someone might not be interested. If you do enjoy this type of content, be sure to let me know in the comments or even by just hitting the like button. If you want to stick around to see more, be sure to subscribe. And for a behind the scenes look at how I make these videos, do follow me on Twitter at ManFightDragon. Either way, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.